Hello everybody, today I wanted to show you how you can be faster in SAP. Whether you're an ABOP developer, you're a system administrator in ABOP, or whether you just use ABOP, or excuse me, SAP every day, you know, as you know, working in, in sales or accounting or you know, the many different functional areas of SAP, you know, whether you're in HR or plant maintenance type work, any of that stuff, there, there's a couple of different things that SAP provides as sort of shortcuts or you know, fast path, we'll, we'll get into this stuff. But SAP provides several things that makes it a lot easier for us to navigate the actual graphical user interface. Now, you know, I do work in uh, other programming languages as well, not just ABOP and not just with SAP. And I can honestly say, programs that don't facilitate easy entry of data and they don't make use of keyboard shortcuts and all this other, you know, stuff that they just don't make it easy on the end user those programs for, for lack of a better term and for a more colorful term they piss me off <laughs> i mean don't be a lazy software developer make life easier for the user that that's what it's all about so sap fortunately does provide a lot of that functionality so what we can do to start with i'll show you a couple of these you know some of you probably already know these these different shortcuts and tricks but i wanted to go ahead and put it out there for everybody so, you know, some of the most common ones that um, we have, let's go ahead and start with the first one. So we're down here working on a screen. Let's say we're, I don't know, I'll pick a, I'll pick a transaction and run something. And uh, let's just say we're working on a screen and say we need to go to a new transaction now. Well, how do we go to a new transaction? We take this mouse and we click it in the transaction bar or we green arrow back a couple of times. You don't have to do any of that. In order to go to a new transaction or to go back, let's show you how to go back first. So do you see how my mouse just got captured over there in the transaction bar? Say I'm working down here, I'm tabbing from one field to the next, I'm doing work down here, fingers are going wild typing all kind of stuff. Do I really want to move from the keyboard? I believe you should never have to move from the keyboard. That's my personal belief as a software developer. So what we want to do, as opposed to going way over here, we want to take the lazy man's route. We want to go to the transaction bar up here without using the mouse. How do we how do we get our cursor up the mouse? We're down here, you know, typing something in there. So we do control and forward slash. Control and forward slash will shift the focus of the cursor at any point in SAP, any transaction this is applicable to, will shift the cursor up here to transaction bar. So we can then enter something. So that's great. You know, now, now let's say we want to go to another transaction. What do we do? We type in another transaction, and anybody that's worked with SAP for a little bit will notice this. We can't just type in another transaction. If I hit enter, nothing happens. Why is that? That's because we have to make use of another little shortcut in order to leave this transaction first and then navigate to another transaction. So there are two ways to do this. Let's say we want to open a transaction in a new window, right? So we're looking at these users here. Let's say maybe we want to look at a table. So we have to do slash O. Slash O is the shortcut in the transaction bar that will let SAP knows whatever I type after slash O, open this transaction in a new window. So let's open a new transaction. Let's say SE11 for our data dictionary view. So SAP, once we hit enter here, will open SE11 but it'll be in a new window or a new session. So let's hit enter. And as you can see here, transaction SE11, if I green arrow back and do SE11, it's the same thing, it's the same transaction, but because we did slash O, let's do it for SU01, it opens it in a new session. As long as we have sessions available that we can you know, open stuff in, your administrator may restrict the amount of sessions that um, you can have open at any one time. Now, I just did something out of habit and I didn't tell you guys what it was, but you also saw me go to the transaction bar. So my focus is in this window here now. So again, control forward slash to get our focus on the transaction bar. I did slash I. Slash I, if you have more than one session open, whatever window you do slash I in and hit enter, it'll close that session. So that's pretty neat. Um, you know, a minute ago we did slash n and then a transaction code. So whatever our transaction code might be, it doesn't matter. We can enter it there. But slash n, the way the reason this works is because slash n 
is the transaction for go back. So no matter where we are in any program, independent of any sort of logic holding us up, we can do slash n by itself and it'll take us back, back to the SAP Easy Access screen. So that's pretty neat. So you say, well, where did you get this stuff from? Did you pull it out your hat? No. <laughs> we go to the transaction bar here, hit F1. It'll show us a few things we can do. So to call a transaction in the same session window, enter slash n and then the transaction code. So you can actually skip the initial screen. So say that you have a report that has some default values on the selection screen. You can do slash asterisk and then the transaction code, it'll skip that initial screen. So if, our if, we, know, if we know that our, our selection screen is gonna be filled out and we just wanna skip that screen, we can do slash star, slash asterisk, and the transaction code. And I showed you guys this one. You can do slash O in a transaction code to open the transaction in a new session. You know, to end the current transaction, slash N. To delete the current session, slash I. Slash O when there is um, when you're not doing a transaction code after it, you can do just slash O. Let's say, let me let me open up two or three uh, windows here with different transactions, and of course I'm not using my shortcuts like I'm telling you guys, but let's do it here. Let's do S flight, uh, let's display it, whatever. So we come back to our original uh, session, session number one, and I do slash O. It'll actually give me a view of all the different sessions I have open. So I'm in ABOP dictionary in one, user maintenance in another. So I can generate a new session, I can delete a session. So I come to number three, or no, excuse me, number four here, delete a session. Well, yeah, you click on that, deletes the session. So you could do that. Um, let's just go ahead and get rid of this user maintenance session as well. Am I doing something wrong? I think my SAP is frozen. Nope. So you click on the number, delete the session. Um, let's go back to our help again. Do I still have it up? I don't. Go back to the transaction bar. To end the current transaction, return to the starting menu, slash N, S000. And that's because S000 is an area menu. So S000, S000, S, let me do it three times this time. So what it's doing is bringing up this area menu. So if you had a custom area menu, that's where that would apply. In most cases, you're not gonna worry about this. So to log off from the system, you do slash n end. So this is easy, slash n end. And it'll prompt you to log off. Now, another one that I'm fond of at the end of the day when I'm getting off of work and I'm just ready to get out and get out of SAP, I'll use slash nex. So slash nex is the exact same thing as slash n end, except for it won't give you that dialog prompt. So when you do slash NEX, I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna log out, do slash end. This won't happen, this prompt won't happen. It'll just completely get you out. So that's how that goes. So that is the different sort of transaction bar shortcuts that SAP provides. Um, some of you guys might know some other ones if there's some, some Easter egg of something hidden out there, but that's the ones that I know. Um, very, very useful, especially when you learn your control and forward slash to get up to the transaction bar and then you know open a new session with something or quit the current session, change to another transaction code, it, it you know beats having to click this green arrow 15 times here. So another thing I wanted to mention was, and you'll know this from other programs, if you hit Alt and then a key combination, you'll see a you know an underline here. So Alt Edit, Alt Favorites, Alt Extras, Alt System. You can navigate this menu without having to actually do anything with the mouse. So if I want to go to my favorites, all right, let's just click on favorites. If I want to go to my favorites, I can hit Alt F because F is underlined and I can navigate either with the up and down arrows on the keyboard or just escape out of that. I can say Alt F and then I see T is underlined here. So maybe I want to get to T, insert transaction. So let's go back again, Alt F T and then it's asking me to enter a transaction. So I can say SU01. And we'll see here it's done that. So this can be useful. I mean, you can navigate through pretty complex menus where you'd have to otherwise go here, go to a submenu, maybe a submenu, and, and do that sort of thing. So that's what's known as your you know alt codes to get to those. Again, that's just alt, and then look for the next underlined character you want to go to. So insert folder, which is alt F O. 
let's we'll just call it a folder. So there's another way to do that, which is kind of nice because again, SAP also uses the transaction bar for this. So I want to, you know, I want to, it's called a fast path. And a fast path basically does the same thing as the alt codes, except for it allows you to type it out in the transaction bar. So, you know, you, you'll learn these, especially on transactions that you use every day and, you know, a lot of the time. So I want to, you know, know how to, let's say, they'll do the same thing. Favorites, insert a transaction. So we look at our favorites menu. Our favorites menu is an F to get to favorites. And then it's T for insert transaction. So I can actually come here, you know, while I'm doing anything else in the, in any sort of SAP transaction, um, you know, my cursor is not on the transaction code bar. I do control forward slash, now it is. And I can say dot, and I can type in whatever that new uh, alphanumeric or, you know, alphabet letter combination to get to where I need to go. So this is favorites, which is F, and insert, which is T. So I can do dot FT and enter. And now it's gonna be the same thing as if I use the alt menu or I navigated with the mouse throughout the actual menu at the top so that helps you out a lot you know especially if it's something complicated and you might not remember if, oh, whatever the combination is get the alt menu and scroll through all that but you know for example if you're in a sales order and in transaction va03 and you got your cursor positioned on a line item of that sales order well you can go into the sales order highlight the line click on the conditions button you can do all that or you can just go you know fast path it go up to the command bar and type dot gio dot gio to go to items condition so there's a lot of things in sap that can really be sped up by using this fast path or alternatively alt f t you know, so you can do it either way if you do it fast path way it's just dot ft which is cool i mean it's neat and um, it's something that I think that once you get the hang of it and you, you know, figure it out, especially on those transactions where you have to navigate some monstrous menu with three or four sub menus and it's just not fun for anyone. But once you once you learn that, I think it'll uh, really improve the process by which you enter data into SAP or navigate in general the SAP um, GUI. So as always, thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, drop something in the comments section. I'll be happy to answer you. And uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Give me a like and subscribe if you like this video. Thank you all. Bye-bye.